Yo, what's going on guys? DJ has here bringing you guys a Nike factory store deals and this is for February 2014 and stay the best for last so be sure you check out the end of the video if, if uh, anything else and I did get a pickup uh, from this this little trip over the weekend but uh, they had some air trainers here for $85. Actually, I actually haven't seen the classics with the low top version uh, before pretty dope uh, in my opinion. Um, another kind of interesting looking sneaker but for $48 not a bad price at all. Uh, it looks like these are called the Air Veer PRMs. Uh, retail is $125. Not a bad price. Some of these pictures are a little fuzzy. I apologize. These are the Air Pillars for $50. And not, not a bad price for these either, considering they retail at $180. Seen those there previous weeks. Um, these ones are interesting. They're $60. Uh, not too far off of the retail at $70. And they're called the Nike MS78s. So I've never seen those before. But kind of interesting. Really kind of regret not buying these ones. Uh, the Air Max 180s. And these are the EM, the engineered mesh, and they're only $48, dudes. Uh, pretty insane. Check out the premium materials on these. The suede looks insane. Has that kind of camo print on them on the back. They're uh, some EXT Nike Free 5.0s for $80. Bucks. Uh, pretty dope shoe, in my opinion. And some Nike Air Ups. They had three colorways of these, three different price points. These ones are only $48 for the cool gray version. Um, they ended up having a all red version or a red and white version for $60. Um, and then they also had one more version, kind of a digital camo print uh, version right here in the blue. And those ones were 90. It's crazy how one was 48, one's 90 uh, for the same exact model, just different colors and prints. Um, some LeBrons, they had some, the lifestyles, or the, well, I think those are the 10s, 75. Yeah, there you go right there, $75. Not a bad price for those if you guys are interested. Not a bad color. And then they had a different color um, for those. Also, as you can see, for 90. Um and on actually they're 99 on box, but they're actually 90 uh, on sale. Not bad. These ones were actually pretty dope. If you look, they have the stacks just like the LeBron um, uh, tens. So I like the the visible zoom stacks. Hyperflight maxes uh, for 120. Again, sorry for some of these fuzzy pictures, but I was hurrying with the the camera. Uh, those ones are 60 dollars. Some, some zoom hyperflights. They have so many colors of hyperflights. It's crazy, guys. Um, they basically have all of them that we've seen in, in the past year. Those ones are on sale and these ones are on sale for $50. Uh, pretty crazy. And then if you go in there on a weekend when it's 20% off, it's nuts. Uh, th they had these, um, I forgot even the name of those. It was 120 And then also they had some Mellows uh, and those ones were 99 Not a bad not a bad price, I guess, for the M9s. Considering that the M10s are $200. Uh, really crazy looking Lunar Lawn uh, Blazers. I, I, I was really impressed. Sometimes we get the craziest prints and these ones are $80. Um, I, I know we get a lot of just random one-off like stuff that most of the stores don't get, so it's definitely a treat coming in there. Uh, these ones are 80. These are the, the Jordan 60 clubs, if you guys have seen those before. Um, also, another one I just wanted to take a picture of. I know it's not a fancy Jordan model or anything like that, but it has kind of that green glow effect. Uh, it's Jordan Flight Origins, they were called, and they were $90. And if you like the green glow color, colors, it's kind of cool. Check these out, though. I was surprised to see these. They're on sale for 110 LeBron 10 Lowe's. Um, in that kind of raspberry colorway. Uh, pretty dope, in my opinion, seeing those. Uh, still have the Elites in stock, man. The, the KD Elites, $90 on sale, not bad. And then they had these, the Hyper, whatever these are called, for $90. Um, yeah, the Hyper Fuse, my bad. Not a bad price not for, for whatever the sneaker is. Those have the baby blue. These things were really tempting for me to, to get. Uh, I almost did for these Flynet Racers, uh, $120 on those. And they also had some... Uh, flying at Chuckas, as you can see here, in kind of this uh, raspberry and, and, I don't know, lime colorway or uh, orange colorway, whatever it's called there, for 120 Not a horrible price, I guess. Air Force Ones, um, not a bad looking sneaker, in my opinion. I know people don't really like the, the Air Force Ones, but these ones look pretty cr interesting with the military print. Uh, on sale for 80 and then they had these flight posit or these foam posit or something posits um, that I've seen, the Zoom MW posits uh, for 130 um, in the back wall as well. These things were insane. The quality on these were absolutely insane for the, the suede, the Air Max 90 premiums. If they had them in my size, I would have got them with that salmon color. Uh, really, really nice. And these ones are pretty dope too. Some, uh, some Air Max 97s. Uh, I believe those are the engineered mesh or yeah, the Hyperfuse right there. Uh, so pretty interesting sneaker as well. They had these. I was really surprised that they still had some of these. They've had these in the past as well, but they still have them. The, the, the Lunar Fly 306 Quick Strike. Uh, also, they have some interesting print freeze again, and these, I mean, they really have some nice lifestyle uh, models, and these ones, some some uh, EXT quick strikes for 80 on the back wall. Um, 
Really, really shocked they had these. I almost bought them even though they weren't my size. Uh, there was an 8.5 there, and it was 90 bucks, dude, for the Air Trainer SCs. I can't believe they had those Megatrons there. Really dope. Um, these I honestly almost bought just because I really wanted a, some of these Solar Softs, uh, but they were $32 there, uh, which I don't think was too much of a discount. I don't know what retail was, but not too much of a discount. Um, also, they had some uh, some Camo Print 3.0 uh, free trainers there. Not bad looking sneaker. And then I actually almost bought this one also because I really wanted a double up of these and I never bought it last time I was there. But it wasn't my size. It was 8.5 again. 54 bucks or $55, a great price. Um, they had a, a couple different colors of these. I, I never tried these ones on, but I heard nothing but good things for the Hyper Feels. And uh, 140 was a little too steep for me though, but interesting that they still have some. From the, the tape, the glow-in-the-dark um, pack or whatever, they had the Air Max 95 PRM tapes. $80, dude, that's a pretty solid price. They didn't have a ton of uh, different ones. And I took a picture of it with the flash-ons just to see if it was reflective a little bit, and there was. Um, they still had some of these in stock. Actually, they had a ton of these in stock, lots of different colors for the Nike Free fly, fly Knits. And then, can you believe these, dude? They had the, the these um, GS... Jordan 5s, they had some uh, SE Jordan 28s, and they had a couple different colorways. And then they had um, a couple other dope ones back here as well. Uh, you got your Mellows, and you can see right next to it, dudes. Believe it or not, they had Black History Month uh, LeBron 10s. So that's the icing on the cake right there for that. Uh, check back soon. I did get a pickup from this little trip to the, the Nike factory store. Have a good one. Thanks for watching, guys. Peace.